This second two-point perspective sketching session looks at drawing objects above, on and below the horizon line. So if we start off how we start off every two-point perspective sketch whilst we're still learning is with the horizon line. So we'll put that nice and straight or as straight as we can sketch across the centre of the page. So if you do your ghost lines first, it'll help you get that line as straight as possible. And don't worry if it's a little bit wavy, it really won't matter in the end. And if you notice this time I'm using pen just to demonstrate that when we're sketching, we don't want to be rubbing out lines, so we always try and work quite lightly and then add to the drawing as it goes and darken up the lines that we want to keep at the end. So from the horizon line now, we can add our vanishing point. So we're going one at either end. And that's where all of our lines going to the sides will disappear to. So we'll start again, just a recap with the box that we drew below. We're going to start with the front edge. So a nice straight line, slightly longer than what you want in the end. And then from the top and the bottom, we're going to join to our vanishing points okay so on these vanishing points now we're just doing these ghost lines going from our line to our vanishing point to get those as straight as you can and reposition your page so that you're more comfortable drawing that straight line and if it just slightly misses the vanishing point it really doesn't matter at this stage so we're just going to draw all of those in and if you notice i've missed with all four of my lines they're not perfect over time the more you do this the better and better you'll get okay well then going to select how big we want this shape to be so I'm going to make this one a little bit wider than the last demo just there and there so you can see we've got actually quite a wide box being built now and at the top where these lines meet we're going to join to opposite vanishing points so from here to here again over a couple of times for your ghost line and draw that in and the same the other way I'm going to rotate the page to make it easy from the top to this X and we're moving that across okay so you can see we've got our two-point perspective cuboid below the line and this time we're now going to look at what what it means if we're drawing it above so we're going to draw this one slightly off the center just here we'll start with our vertical line and from the top and the bottom we're going to join to the first vanishing point okay and we'll go to the second as well adjusting the page so it's easy to draw these lines and then we're going to chop it off we'll make this one a different proportion just here. So from the left hand side and the right hand side before we then join the bottom lines to the opposite vanishing points. So we're going across that way, so we'll take your page around to make it nice and easy and then we'll go the other way. Okay. So you can see that now we've got our cuboid above and a cuboid below the horizon line. We'll finish this off just with a final cuboid on the horizon line, so literally overlapping from top to bottom. So if we start again, the same process, always starting with that front edge. Okay, Remember, draw your ghost lines over first, and then it'll help get that straight. And always make sure that these lines are slightly longer than what we need. So therefore, when we take the section that we actually need, it's quite straight. And that's why we ignore how the whole line is, knowing that that smaller section we need is going to be pretty straight and for sketching pretty straight is good enough so top to bottom we're going to both vanishing points so start with this one adjust your page so it's easier for you to do and then we're going across so ghost lines first and drawing that in I'll flip it around and do the same the other way ghost lines in and then draw in my light construction lines making sure these lines aren't too heavy because you see the amount building up on the page now if they were all heavy it would be very very difficult to see what was going on then we'll chop the sides like we have with all of the other cuboids off where we want them okay so we've now got our three cuboids looking below the horizon line above and on the next part is just darkening the outer line so it's our thick and thin line technique but because they're such simple shapes it does end up just being the outlines and we're going to add one landing box and the landing box on this is slightly different to the first tutorial so start with the center line just darkening those outer edges rotating your page to make it easy for you to do and again no rulers involved at all we're just sketching at the moment because we, we want to be able to get our ideas down onto paper to communicate them with another person okay that's the whole idea of learning to sketch like this is to communicate our, our ideas as well as we can so we'll just make all of these lines that bit darker final couple of lines and we'll see now the cuboids are really standing out from the construction lines that we've used to create them 
without rubbing out or anything. And the final part then is adding our landing box. And we're going to add our landing box to show that these three cuboids are linked. So on a design ideas page, you might have three sketches of a, the same product from different angles, an exploded version or two parts that are connecting. So your landing box can be used to show that all of them parts are actually connected. So we're going to draw a nice straight line down through our shapes coming out the bottom there. And then it's going to be mirrored over the other side. And you'll see it's quite a thin rectangle. And just chop that off. And then I'm just going to cross hatch all the way inside there. So it doesn't have to be too neat. We're just adding the cross hatching in it will make everything else stand out and what you can do if you've got some markers or some colouring crayons is just shade behind the cross hatching which is another nice effect for making them stand out so we'll hatch the one direction and hatch the other as well now and whilst I'm doing this we're hopefully seeing the picture come together now of everything standing out off the page and also clearly being linked by this landing box in summary what we've done there is our two point perspective sketching activity where we've drawn above the horizon line, below the horizon line and on it as well added our thick and thin lines and then our landing box behind to show all of those shapes are linked. Good luck!